Hello, this is Manesh Patel from the EII Capital Group. Today is March 6, 2010. This is our weekly Ichimoku analysis for the currency market. Before we begin, no normal disclaimer. This is the state. This is for educational use only. All charts are even thinkorswim, trade station, or freestockcharts.com. Here's my contact details. If you have any questions, you can email us at mpatel at eiicapital.com, or you can follow us on Twitter, or you can go to our website and access our free videos. Okay, so let's begin, and let's go straight to the heat map. If you've never seen the heat map, you could go to our website and you can read the video on the heat map. Okay, what we're looking at for today's purpose is we're going to look at D0, which is the Ichimoku rating for the daily time frame for today. D5 is for five days ago, and W0, okay? What we're looking for is basically five to eight represent bullish, where eight is extreme bullish. For uh, and then negative five to negative eight being bearish, where negative eight is extreme bearish. Okay, so if you look down here, what we're looking for really is something in D zero that's about five. Okay, and it's moved up to five, and then we want to make sure that that also is bullish on the weekly time frame. Okay, you can see here from the Euro USD, it's bullish already. We'll look at the all some of the major currency pairs in a minute. Um, you can see that this got more bearish New Zealand dollar uh, on the daily. It's counter trend to the weekly. Uh, Australian USD is bullish still. Uh, CAD USD a little weaker, but it's still bearish. Um, uh, US Switzy is, is bearish. Australian yen it's got a little weaker, but still there. Um, this is one currency pair we could look at definitely is US yen. It got a little weaker, but it's a little stronger on the weekly. Okay, so it's still contradicting there. Uh, Euro yen basically is now bullish on the daily, and the weekly is now turning over. So we'll look at the Euro yen for sure. Pound yen is bullish on the daily, uh, still negative on the weekly. Uh, CAD yen is bullish completely on the daily, uh, negative uh, on the weekly. And if you keep on going down here, you don't really see too many opportunities um, at all where both time frames are conforming. Just keeping going down here. Uh, definitely look at Euro Pound. And so Euro Yen, Euro Pound, we'll definitely look at. Uh, Euro Canadian is one to look at. Euro Australian is one to look at. Anything with Euro seems like to look at for sure. And if you scroll down some more. Um, you really don't see anything much more. Uh, Australia and U New Zealand is still strong and bullish. Okay, so let's go to straight to the charts, and we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and pull up Euro USD. Okay, if you remember, to our left over here is our daily charts. To our right is basically our weekly charts. Let me sit there and increase uh, the number of bars for this for a weekly time frame. Okay. And so that's our weekly right there. So if you look at the weekly, uh, daily and weekly, you can see they're bullish trending. Uh, one problem here you have is you notice the Tinkinson over here on the weekly is inverted to the Cajunson. That's basically bearish, so that's not good. So definitely need to pull back to, uh, to first before we can start going forward on the weekly time frame. Uh, you could also see that the daily over here We've reached our target of uh, what we we're looking for, 39.83. So we definitely got there. So now what we're doing is we're kind of looking for a pullback, a healthy pullback to come down, uh, possibly to this area right here at 38.33, and then possibly to go all the way back up to 4,200 and retest the highs up there. That's what we're looking for the euro. Let's go look at the pound USD. If you look at the pound USD here, uh, you could see on this. Basically, it's bullish on the daily time and bullish on the weekly time frame. So this is definitely bullish on both sides. On the daily, it's going for a little pullback right now. Uh, reason why it's a little overextended on the weekly time frame. Okay, let's go look at US CAD. If you look at US CAD, it's bearish in both time frames. Uh, and actually, you know, it's holding its ground here, believe it or not. And uh, 97.28, uh, which is a major support from a while back ago. If it actually breaks that, this thing can go a lot lower and possibly go all the way down to 9,000, believe it or not. Uh, so this is a key level here. It's got a hold here 
Um, let's look at U.S. Switzy. U.S. Switzy is still bearish too. You could see, so it looks very similar to U.S. CAD, uh, but it's still it's still there. <clears throat> That's U.S. Switzy. Let's go look at Euro Pound. Whoa. Okay, if you look at Euro Pound, remember there's some conflict here. Uh, this is a possibility, but look at the, what's happening here. It's basically stuck in the cloud on a weekly, so it's causing some consolidation. And if you look at the daily, it's bullish, but it's overextended. It needs to definitely a pullback. There's also chicanes in the cloud, so that's not good. Let's go look at the euro. Uh, let's go. can't remember which one it was. Uh, euro Australian, Euro CAD. So let's go look at those. Euro Australian. If you look at it here, this is definitely bullish on the daily. And if you shrink this down here, it looks like it needs a little pullback here before it can start shooting up. Uh, and if you look at the weekly, it is basically still bearish, but now it's in a pullback mode on a weekly time frame. So this could be a good possibility to trade to go up as long as this thing pulls back some or kind of consolidates a little here. So definitely look for Euro Australian to start moving forward and moving up. Uh, let's see, EuroCAD was the other one. On EuroCAD, it looks very similar to uh, Euro Australian. However, uh, prices in the clouds, so that's not good at all. So we're going to walk away from this one. Uh, the daily time frame basically is bullish, uh, but the Chicago's got to come out. So this definitely doesn't look good at all. Uh, let's go look at some Australian currencies. Let's go look at Australian USD. Look at Australian USD. Still looks very, very powerful here on the daily time frame. Uh, this thing really just needs to break this level here. Uh, 1.0206 if it could sit there and do that then this thing can just start going higher and also this the weekly will resume in its bullish trend uh, Australia New Zealand which has been a nice trade for a while and if you look at it it's still going forward it is now looking to get overextended on a weekly time frame and if you look here it's moving up really nicely but it needs to pull back now uh, to a certain extent uh, to keep on going up this healthy trend that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week.